Yo, it's your boy Marcus Ormerstini back with another video. Today we are doing a Black Ops 6 commentary. We're going to be talking about the brand new trailer that just came out for Black Ops 6 multiplayer, a little bit of zombies, and a little bit of talk about the campaign and movement and all that stuff. Um, but before I talk about all that, uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe on the video. This is a COD Mobile gameplay on Shoe House because they brought it back to COD Mobile ranked. And uh, yeah, let's dive into Black Ops 6. Uh, first off, I'm super excited about Black Ops 6. It looks like it could be a really good game. Um, it's coming out October 25th, 2024. Uh, that's pretty, you know, it's a good ways out, but it'll be here before you know it. So pretty exciting stuff kind of just going to go mode by mode so i'll start off with the campaign um first off casual play i think campaign is obviously a super casual game mode you're shooting ai it's not really like a super hard mode um it's it looks like it's going to be a pretty solid campaign i think uh they're bringing back adler from cold war um if you don't know who adler is just type in adler in the google search bar and you should, he should pop right up um He's actually the cover art for Cold War, I believe. So, yeah, bringing him back. I think he is an enemy in that game. So that should be interesting. I also think the characters, I think Woods and Troy Marshall are going to be like the two main characters in the campaign of this game. And I think that's a pretty good thing. The Troy Marshall guy seems like a solid new character who they're going to have some good stuff in terms of like plot built around. So that should be pretty exciting. Also replay value for the campaign i got a feeling they're gonna have a lot of like you know like different endings like in bo2 where like the campaign takes a turn and now it plays this way or it takes a turn because you've made this decision so now it plays this way so i could see a little bit more replay value in this game not a lot it's a campaign you're shooting bots like it's not you can't you can't play it that much but like i can see it being pretty good that's pretty much all I got for the campaign. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of the multiplayer. Uh, first and foremost, what everybody's talking about, the omnidirectional movement, right? This being able to like sort of halfway sprint side to side and backwards, and then you can lay down on your back and flip over to your front. Um, yeah, this movement looks kind of insane. I think it could be... There's two, <laughs> there's two ways this goes, man. It could be absolutely cheesy and garbage and like abusable and just suck or it could be good i 100 percent believe it's gonna be cheesy garbage and abusable and suck um so that's my opinion on it <laughs> that's just uh, i'm just giving you my take um oh tax sprint is back i'm one of those people i can't fucking stand tax sprint i know all you warzone lovers absolutely adore tax sprint uh, Y'all are brain dead. Tax sprint absolutely sucks, especially for competitive COD um, and multiplayer. Tax sprint sucks, but tax sprint is back, I believe. Not a fan of that at all. Can't stand that. Guns. Good era of guns. Uh, if you looked in the beta, you saw the guns that were there. I think we're going to have some solid guns in this game. It's going to be pretty exciting. Um, set of guns to use. Very similar to stuff that we've had in the past, though. That kind of sucks. But overall, I think that that's something that's going to be up and up i also saw a red dot that looks super clean so i'm kind of excited about that on my ar for competitive uh cold war hud hud is heads up display for anybody who's walking in blind and doesn't know anything and it's kind of very similar to the cold war and by very similar i mean like exactly the same so i don't really know what's going on with that but they do have this custom hud feature where you can move like your mini map to the middle of your screen you can move it to the top right corner, bottom left corner, bottom right corner. You can move it all over the place because the HUD is customizable. So I think that's super interesting. Obviously, here in COD Mobile, I can do that now. Hence why my minimap's top right, scoreboard's top left, um, shoot buttons or wherever. So I think that's a good feature. And that is something that should be implemented in every COD here on out, but probably won't be. Next up, we got three lane maps. Holy smoke shows, brother. 16 launch maps, I think. Um, four of them are like uh, face off style maps. Face off are like mini maps where it's like uh, smaller teams and you pretty much spawn in like a room and the other team's on the other side of the room. And you, I mean, it's just a slaughter fest the whole time. But three lane maps, I'm excited. I haven't, we haven't had good maps in a call of duty game since 
Black Ops 4. I mean, it's been a long time since we've had like a game full of good maps on launch. Um, Black Ops 4 had maps like Frequency, Seaside, Hacienda, Arsenal, Morocco, um, Payload. Lot, just a series of pretty good maps overall. So I'm hoping with Treyarch being back, we can get another good batch of maps. So that's a big thing about this game that I'm super excited for. And I think a lot of people are too. Uh, another thing, doors. We saw it in the beta, but I can't confirm that it's 100% going to be the case. But doors would be a very interesting thing. And by interesting, I mean completely dog shit. So I hated doors in Mario for 2019. I hate doors in every other game. It completely sucks to deal with. So hopefully that's not something we have to see in the game. Prestige is back in COD. I am so glad this feature is coming back. I don't know why we haven't had it since Black Ops 4, but we haven't had it since Black Ops 4. So Prestige systems coming back, 10 Prestiges, plus 1,000 levels after you complete those 10 Prestiges. Fuck yes, that's all I can say. Um, I don't know why I have to be so happy about a feature that should never have even left COD, but here I am. Next up, we got the graphics and visuals i think this is something for all you pc guys man i don't give a shit as a console pl i just i don't care about graphics and visuals i really don't all i care about in terms of that is player visibility i need to be able to see people if it's like playing Mario for 2019 with rose scans i can't see nothing i hate playing it i want it like bo 4 where like the players kind of light up a little bit brighter skins help that so i kind of I prefer that. I don't like when everything is the same color and the game is ugly and drab and sucky. Anyway, competitive thoughts. My last topic for multiplayer. I think competitive could be very interesting. Three lane maps should be solid. I'm interested to see what the third mode is. Hardpoint, SND, and then maybe control. Maybe CTF. Um, I like control. I know it's a lot of people don't like control. I like control. Um, um, CTF can be an absolute snooze fest um so i'm not a big fan of ctf i know other people are i can't stand it it sucks that being said we got a cod next new gameplay coming out so i think that's kind of the next time we'll see some stuff about cod mobile or cod not cod mobile um black ops 6 so i think that'll be very interesting to see and lastly we're going to talk about zombies here just touching on some things two round based maps on launch yes huge w it's not bo4 i think bo4 at like three maybe even four but you know what i mean two is good enough that'll get us by for a while until they can get some new maps in and wonder weapons should be interesting uh i got a feeling they're gonna not be like a four stack wonder weapon map until later on in the dlc cycle but it could be interesting um and then the dlc season i'm just gonna knock on this because it's super important a good dlc season of zombies could hard carry this game to stardom so that's something that this game needs to have to be successful is some solid zombies anyway thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe tell me your thoughts about black ops 6 in the comment section down below it's been your boy marcus or morstini i'm out purse